skip all that? Mm-hmm. Okay. You know I can record it, Daddy. Put your pedal down, don't pump all the way down. Ten mm. Mm. Stop. Three, two, one, zero. Repeat this process until all the air in the fluid is completely bled out for FR and RR. Okay, I'm pressing yes to repeat it. Yes. Okay. Let me know. Ready? ready now. Oh, wait. Three, two, one, go. Repeat it again. Ready, go. Three, two, one, zero. The brake pedal to be depressed and held. Do not release the brake pedal while the four seconds bleeding process is running. Okay. Okay. Oh, then so. go to this side. Okay. Daddy, can you hear the charts? Any one of those, right? Yeah, it says any one. So the brake is down. Let me know when you're ready. It's breaking. Yep. Ready. Okay, three, two, one, go. Tighten the bleeder plug, then release the brake pedal. Tighten the bleeder plug, then release the brake pedal. Okay, I'm releasing the brake pedal and then wait for 20 seconds. But now there's only... Okay. Okay. It says repeat it until all the air in the fluid is completely bled for each one. So, okay. So, we can exit this process. This is front right and rear right. Okay. Connect the vinyl bleeder tube to one of the four bleeder plugs. Depress the brake pedal several times, then hold the pedal down. While holding the pedal down, loosen the bleeder plug to allow brake fluid to drain through the connected tube. So now we're going to be the pump braking one. When fluid stops draining, tighten the bleeder plug, then release the brake pedal. Repeat this process until air stops coming out. So it said to do that to all the wheels. Huh? It said to do that to all the wheels. Okay. All right. 